Martin Brichabot from CDL's Sugar and Equipment. I work in product development at CDL. This year, CDL launched a new product, the CDL High Vacuum Sap Lifter. This product was designed to replace the somewhat outdated systems that currently exist. It's a system designed to go too high vacuum, but above all, to prevent lines from freezing in the sugar bush. There are three models available. The first model you saw in the open house video, which is the solar powered model. The capacity of this model will vary between 200 and 1700 taps, depending on your application. The other two models now available are electric models, so they can be wired on uh, 230 volt power. Performance will vary between 300 and 2000 taps, depending on your application. For the solar model, uh, the product comes with the two deep charge batteries shown here. One upgrade since we made the video shown at Open House, uh, the solar panel is now divided in three panels for easy transportation. It's very, very easy to use, you just have to fold the panels back like this. I'm going to turn this uh, backwards. Uh, at the back here, uh, we see the connections on the solar panel designed to plug in the connectors uh, coming from the shelter. On the back outside the shelter, there's a black hose that can be connected to a standard propane tank. That tank will feed the propane burner designed to heat the shelter during cold periods. It's very easy to access from the outside by removing this panel. What you can see inside is the base here to receive the batteries that come with the solar model. Here you can have access uh, to the interior heating system. The interior heating system does have a safety feature that prevents any possible gas leak if the flame goes out. It's very important to be safe with propane gas. There is fire insulation here to prevent overheating or fires that may occur inside the shelter. To access what's inside, it's very easy. We have a first panel here at the front to have a visual access to the inside. When people are in the forest chasing leaks or wanting to do a quick checkup, uh, they can easily access the tank and the vacuum gauge on top of the tank here. To quickly remove the front wall to have access to, say, all the interior components of the sap lifter, it's very easy. All you have to do is use the two levers or handles here and completely remove the front wall. Once inside, um, here you can see the propane heating system. Uh, which is designed to keep an even temperature inside throughout the season to prevent freezing. To activate, activate the pump manually, very simple. You just have to push the button here. When you release the button, the pump will stop. Inside, we have an easy clips uh, type connection, or in our maple syrup language, a feral connection that we can uh, quickly unclip or remove to be able to remove the tank uh, to do maintenance or cleanup. To facilitate cleaning inside the shelter, there's a drain here at the bottom uh, for that purpose. If there is water at the bottom of the shelter, it will automatically drain out.
The shelter is designed to be outside at all times and it's 100% insulated to facilitate heating. Something very important, here you can see a, a few little triangular holes in, on the front and back of the shelter to control the ventilation and temperature inside. By removing the tank cover, you can easily access the components inside. Here, the float, which turns the pumps on uh, when the tank is full. The submersible type pump here at the end, which is equipped with a quick connector to be able to remove it for maintenance as well. On the solar mo model only, uh, you have a controller that um, basically controls the battery charges and uh, solar panels. For ease of installation, the shelter comes with clips type connections on the outside. Um, the most important thing is that you have the option to make the connections to the left or to the right of the shelter. Inside, you can see where the lines come in. You can see that uh, there are already pre-drilled holes on the right, but also on the left here. So we can basically fit the lines to the left or right without any problem. Finally, don't hesitate to refer to your CDL sales representative or technician for uh, more technical information on, on this product. I wish you a good 2021 season. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup.